the uh, refinery doing uh, scaffolding. And uh, union carpenters, sometimes you're in a situation where you don't really have much choice in which jobs you pick. Fortunately, I'll be getting out of there soon and going back to weatherizing houses, which is pretty much the polar opposite in terms of impact you can be having on the world. Um, but I went down to uh, New Orleans for a Labor Network for Sustainability conference. Uh, Jessica Garraway from the Minneapolis Federation of Teachers invited me down to come join her on a panel and talk about uh, the role of unions in, in fighting climate change. And so I made a promise to myself I'd go uh, to the shores of the lake nearby there and play this song. So I did. I'll drink to the health 
of that Creole girl by the lakes of the Pontchartrain. buzzing along with the set list, but if anyone has any requests, and I know it, I'll do my best to play it. Oh, yeah? Can't scare me. <laughs> oh, uh, Union Maid? Yeah, yeah, I can do Union Maid. Yeah. Can I sing Bye. the chorus with you? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, please do. Oh, uh, let's see, what, what key is going to work well? How do you feel about, oh, there once was a Union Maid? Oh, that's a little high for me. How about D? <laughs> oh, there once was a union maid. That work for you? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Oh, there once was a union maid that never was afraid of the goons and the gangs and the company banks and the deputy sheriffs who made the raid. He went to the union hall when the maiden air was called, and when the legion boys came round, she always stood her ground. Oh, you can't scare me. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. Oh, you can't scare me. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union until the day I die. Well, this union maid was wise to the tricks of the company spies. She wouldn't be fooled by a company stool. She'd always organize the guys. She always got her way when she struck for better pay. She'd show her card in the National Guard, and this is what she'd say. Oh, you can't scare me. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. Oh, you can't scare me. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union until the day I die. Oh, modern union maids are also not afraid to walk the line, leave jobs behind. But they're not just a lady's aid in the fight for women's rights. Every worker must unite. I don't know how that verse ends. We don't know either. Well, the pie card is the job police and screw their labor peace. Oh, you can't scare me. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. Oh, can't scare me, I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union until the day I die. One more time, oh, you can't scare me, I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. Oh, you can't scare me, I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union until the day I die. Oh, you can't scare me, I'm sticking to the It took me a second there. That's, that's one of the ones uh, where we had to go back and uh, change the final verse, because uh, Woody Guthrie, uh, you know. <laughs> he wrote that verse? Oh, no, he, he wrote the problematic original final verse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was, uh, I think his, his original verse was, uh, oh, oh, you girls who want to be free, just take a little tip from me. Get you a man who's a union man and join the ladies' auxiliary. Oh, <laughs> 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 Actually reminds me, I, I had written a, a song at one point that was a, uh, I had written a couple different songs uh, over the course of a week or two when I was particularly frustrated with some, some officials in the labor movement, which took some classic labor songs and wrote about some of the modern problems uh, in the labor movement in ways that we can fix them. And uh, so I also have a song called Union Raid. <laughs> But what happens when one union tries to come in and get a shop to decertify and go over to their union instead? It goes a little bit like this. <laughs> 
Oh, there once was a union raid that crossed the lines of trade that the AFL had drawn so well with contract language they had laid. Low membership and dues made them say no time to lose. Competition is the game of the day and we know how to play. There's no solidarity when you're in a craft union. Single craft union. Single craft union. Oh, there's no solidarity when you're in a craft union. And that craft union will cross the line. Well, this union raid caused strife. In each back there was a knife. Competition grew and anger flew when accusations they were rife when it came the time to strike. The other crafts were like, go stuff your sign. What's mine is mine. I'm here to cross your line. There's no solidarity when you're in a craft union. Little craft union. When you're in a craft union. Oh, there's no solidarity when you're in a craft union. And that craft union will cross the line. All you workers want to be free, just take a tip from me. One union builds skilled and unskilled across your whole damn industry. Don't divide yourselves by craft, give bureaucrats the shaft. Cause the pie card is the job police, screw their labor peace. And they'll suck, then you can't scare me. I'm sticking to the union, I'm sticking to the union. I'll be sticking to the union, and then you can't scare me. I'm sticking to the union, I'm sticking to the union until the day I die. Speaking of, uh, sometimes you do have to have conflicts between between the workers and uh, the more uh, cautious members of the officialdom, and uh, sometimes you win those conflicts. I actually have a song about that that particular thing. scabs come hauling into sight damn their injunctions and damn their jails and fine whatever it takes will hold the line all across the grain belt we're striking at john deere they split our contracts up into first and second tiers but my father walked the line with me i'll walk it with my son to get unity before the strike is won of the world, there are those who build it down below. Time comes for us to be rising, the time comes to reap what you sow, so keep your hands on the plow, hold the line, don't give up now, we planted our seeds, now we're watching grow. It's a trick as old as time. It's heartless and it's cruel. Split us up into the tears for the old divide and rule. It's pulling up the ladder on the workers still to come. And it's pulling down the strength that we have won. But a union's not a monument you carve into the rock. It's a legacy of water for the winners on the stock. And our power's not in boardrooms, the ballots or the courts. It's in action when we cut production short. the world. There are those who build it down below. Time comes for us to be rising. The time comes to reap what you sow. So keep your hands on the plow. Hold the line. Don't give up now. We planted our seeds. Now we're watching them grow. God bless you, Dick Rick, and your memory lives on. Killed out on the picket that morning in the lawn. A car came screaming up the street and fixed you in its sights. And you died fighting for our rights. You gave your life for the workers, 
For your people and mine And for those families toiling generations on the line Now you're in the strength between us Your spirit's in our hands We strike when the union takes a stand There are those on top of the world there are those who build it down below. Time comes for us to be rising. The time comes to reap what you sow. So keep your hand on the plow. Hold the line, don't give up now. We planted our seeds. Now we're watching them grow. A month out on the picket, we held it strong. Scouts and middle management couldn't carry on. All the working lives, they brought us to our knees Till we stood on those lines in unity So whenever any worker is under an attack You have a brother at your side and a sister at your back An injury to one is an injury to all We'll either stand together or we'll fall the world. There are those who build it down below. Time comes for us to be rising. The time comes to reap what you sow. So keep your hands on the plow. Hold the line. Don't give up now. We planted our seeds. Now we're watching them grow. Keep your hands on the plow. Hold the line. Don't give up now. I swear I will touch these other instruments at some point. <laughs> no, I've uh, I've played a lot of songs. Uh, you know, taking a, a very uh, radically proletarian class war kind of situation. It's 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 my thing. It's what I do. And I do think it's sometimes unfair to me to not sing the praises of the captains of industry and various other robber barons who uh, control our lives and do such interesting things with the surplus labor that we uh, produce. You know, surplus value of our of our work. And uh, I thought it was very impressive when several billionaires decided to go to space. Um, I thought that was a good idea. I didn't think returning was. I thought, you know, but it was neat. It was neat that they were gone for a while. And, uh, and so I wrote, I wrote a little song about that. High above the world, there's a billion dollar race. Oh, to relu, 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 relu. To see which robber baron will be first to buy the space. Oh, to relu, 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 relu. We've gone beyond electric cars. There's three more dicks among the stars. They ought to be the first on Mars, it's true. But when they reach the Hellas Basin, cut the line back to the station. Let them stay on their vacation to relu. Bronson Road to blast off on a silo's worth of oil. To relu, 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 relu. Just to get a better picture of our world as it broils. To relu, 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 relu. Some malcontents might drive a wedge and ask what happened to his pledge to rid us of the fuel that is our doom. Although it's slow and barren fruit, he's got the issue by the root. He'll do it by reducing it to fumes. Bezos had a vision as he floated in the stars. Oh, to relu, 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 relu. He thanks all of you peasants who have paved his way this far. To relu, 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 relu. And he's witnessed the solution to industrial pollution. He'll move all the production to the moon. But Amazonians united will appear there uninvited to incite the lunar commune to relu. And Musk has got a blueprint for a special Martian vault. To relu, 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 relu. 
just to build his Teslas somewhere that the unions cannot salt. Oh, toodaloo, raloo, raloo, raloo. But since he's heard that Mars is red, he's filled a rocket full of lead. He'll kill them commies all dead, white and blue. He goes and we don't mind, let him work an asteroid mine. Just leave our lithium behind to raloo. If the state took these men's taxes like they robbed from me and you, to raloo, 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 raloo. We could end this homeless camp shit still explore the cosmos too. To raloo, 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 raloo. But since the space race privatized, we've been forced to economize a rocket to the sun we cannot do. If they want to be an astronaut, the only flight plan that we've got is Jellignite propulsion to Relu. I'm going to pour this ice and I think somebody's bringing water. So. All right. <laughs> On the 11th, uh, myself and some other uh, musicians are going to be going down to um, Powderhorn Park around the time of the Zine Festival, which I think is from about 1 to 5. We'll be playing um, a whole series of sets, and uh, there'll be a bucket nearby that you can donate money to for the long-term uh, Anarchist Prisoners Day of Solidarity. We'll be raising money for... Marius Mason, who's currently incarcerated for allegedly destroying machines that were destroying the planet. As well as uh, raising money for um, the defendants currently facing time for the actions down in Atlanta to stop Cop City. So, that will be on the 11th, and uh, this is a song we'll be performing then. I translated this from Italian. It's about a man who was falsely accused of uh, planting a bomb in a public square in Milan. And during the time that he was being interrogated by the police about this, he somehow ended up falling from a fourth story window. At least that's what the police say. He slipped. You're awesome, 
Police also said that they were sure he was the bomber, and it turns out years later, when documents were finally declassified, that the bombers were an organization called Norvo Ordo, Ordo, which was an Italian far-right group funded by the U.S. State Department through Operation Gladio. And they had intentionally attempted to frame the left for the bombing as a way to bring down state repression on the anarchists and the socialists and the communists. Night in Milan was the setting How hot that the sergeant was sweating Brigadier crack open the window A push and Pinelli goes down Oh Sergeant Pinelli repeated I am innocent but how I'm treated Anarchy does not call us to bombing. To be free, we must just disobey. No more lying, Pinelli, confess it. Without even your word, we could guess it. The bomb was laid out by Valpreda, your friend, and the blood's on your hands. Said Pinelli, the bomber's some mother. Not my comrades, or one of my brothers. The hands stained with blood are your own, sir, or the ones that are holding your leash. The sergeant leaned in and was smoking, breathing out, and Pinelli was choking. Brigadier, Crack open the window, four stories is hard time to do. Our flags were black in our morning, three thousand comrades gave this warning. We swore by the blood of Penelope, we'd neither forget or forgive. And you, Guida, and you, Calabresi, was it you who sent out the order to cover up the fascist murder? Was Pinelli the price in your game? That night in Milan was the setting, how hot that the sergeant was sweating. Brigadier, crack open the window, a push, and Pinelli goes down. Well, we'll do one more somber, reflective song, then we'll get into some fun sing-alongs. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's even in a major key. <laughs> this is a song from the Chartist movement in uh, the early 1800s in, in Britain. Working people were demanding the right to vote and, uh, and since then, we've all got it. And look what, what great good it's done us. Um, <laughs> now, they were demanding, on principle, the right to vote. And in the course of that struggle, as so often the case with struggle, they came up with so many reflections and ideas and understanding of their own conditions. 
And in many ways, this struggle, which was one to kind of complete the democratic revolution, to expand the franchise to everyone, started planting the seeds for even more revolutionary thought. I think we probably wouldn't have some of the anti-capitalist movement we, we do if it weren't for the Chartist movement and the thoughts that they started laying down then. so low that we delve in the dirty clay we blast the plain with the golden grain and the veil with the fragrant hay we are so low our place we know down at the landlord's feet we're not too low the bread to grow but too low the bread to eat down, down we go, we are so low to the hell of a deep sunk mine. We gather the proudest gems that glow in the helm of the despot shine. Whenever he lacks upon our backs fresh loads, he deigns to lay. The 